Recording all from the Star Sign News, and today I'm going to be reviewing the HTC Vive. Uh, this came out a couple of months ago, I don't remember exactly when it came out, but I got it uh, about a month and a half ago, I'm pretty sure. May have been a little bit more recent than that. But before I did the review, I wanted time to really try it out and test it with other people that ha don't really know about VR or anything really. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, really, really interesting design with all the sensors and everything, front facing camera, adjustable uh, straps, which I really like these straps, they're not bad, not bad at all, um, and then this is adjustable in and out, so you have to, I never do it, it's annoying, but you have to unlock that and then you can pull it up, well I think you, you twist it or pull it, I don't know, you have to do something, I don't really mess with it, uh, headphone jack right here, it's a little bit Headphones in this thing are the only, one of the only complaints I really have of it. I haven't found really headphones that are very comfortable because over the head ones are a little bit annoying because they touch it and it's really weird. And then in the ear ones, I don't know. Just, it, I've only used headphones once of this thing for the entire time playing it, so I'll get try to do that again because that that was probably just my my fault. But anyway. Alright, so the cord on this thing is extremely long. It's all tangled up right now though. Just because I had it in the box, but uh, it's very long. You can go through an entire room with it. Which is the reason I actually bought the Vive. Because I was looking at the Oculus Rift and I wanted it, but then I found out how many features the HTC Vive had and I just could not pass it up. Motion controllers, these controllers are amazing. I know the Oculus might, like, is coming out with those, uh, or the Oculus Touch or whatever. I don't really know if I like the look of those. They look kind of cool, but I like these ones a lot. They're really, they're really good. I think they're amazing. You can get your grip button on right there. Trigger, trackpad, plus it's a D-pad, home, and then like start or something. I figured all the names of them. These things are really useful. Really good. I love them. Um, and motion controls are something I've wanted since the Oculus Rift DK2, which I had. But I sold to fund the money for this. Um, I wanted Leap Motion, but I never actually got it. So these are almost the same, honestly. Like, I mean, obviously they're not the same, since that was just, you know, just your hands with a, like a camera-ish thing kind of in the front. But I honestly love these physical controllers. They're, they're just awesome. Alright, so, um, lighthouses. Room tracking is amazing. I love being able to walk around the entire environment. It's really fun. Obviously, in this little room, it's not the greatest, but it still works, honestly. But I, right now, I have it set up downstairs, and it works really, really good. Um, yeah. I wish there was more games out right now. There are a lot, and one of my favorite games is actually Free It's Budget Cuts. That's an amazing game. But there are a lot of games out right now. I mean, um, yeah, it just sucks that you have to pay as much as you have to pay for a HMD and then games on top of it. But that's gaming, you know. You have to buy a console and then you have to buy games for it, you know. That's just love everything. Um, what else? I haven't really noticed the frame frame drops with the thing, um, even lift the game full screen on there and on the Vive. I have a GTX 960, which is one below the recommended graphics card. Um, so yeah, the only time I've ever noticed it is when I'm downstairs on a 4K TV. That's when it starts to lag a little bit, but only on a sl like two games. Like, it lagged on the lab because that's a big game. And it was full screen on both, so, you know, it's going to take a lot to run it. If I had, like, the 970, it probably wouldn't. Um, what else? Um, setup's easy. Just want to talk about one thing. Setup for me took a little bit longer because I was being dumb. Alright, so. You, you get this box, okay? Orange side is where you plug the HMD at. This is where everything else goes. Um. H D 
HDMI, plug this into the computer, and then USB into your computer outlet. That is what we're going to talk about. Because I had this problem when I was sitting up, and I don't know if it's just, just me or everybody, it could happen to. Regular AC adapter. Plugs in on this side. Right like that. And then the 5 has one that plugs into there. Alright. Don't plug this into a power strip. Don't do it. I plugged into a power strip. Um, what else did I have plugged in? I don't remember what I had plugged in. But I had some other stuff plugged into it. Alright. And it did not provide enough power to my Vive to run it. It would not run it at all. It would not turn on. I was resetting it. Doing everything. Updating it. It was just would not turn on. Just doing everything I could. I tried everything. So eventually I just unplugged it, plugged it into the wall, just to see if it was the problem. Because I didn't think it was actually going to work. Loaded up perfectly. So yeah. Not uh, the Vive's fault. That was my fault. I should have known to not plug something that needs a lot of power into a power strip. But, you know. That could just be me. But I just wanted to get that information out there. Um... So I was demoing it to people, and these age ranges between, um, well, let's say my sister is the youngest at like 10, and then all the way up to like 40. So, you know, I have a pretty good range of people I've tested it on. So, you know, if like people my age are around 17, we know about VR and everything, you know, what's just, we know about it and everything, uh, so... You know, we know what to expect, almost, of it. So, demo it to older and younger is very interesting because they're not that... Like, my sister does, you know, she doesn't go online or anything. Like, she has a phone, but she doesn't really look up stuff or watch too many videos. Now, I, I know some younger people do, so, you know, they might know about it. But I really wanted to get people that didn't really know much about it to play it. And I did. So, basically, my sister, she... It's not, it's not even like a, whoa, look at all this. It's kind of just, she gets in and just does it and it doesn't even face her it's just what it is you know and then older people will just sit there and they're like wow because you know to them like some of them grew up like without the internet you know like and they knew like the virtual boy like the first VR headset you know so it this thing is so even I am like baffled by it it's so immersive and the field of view okay field of view you, you see if you like this you can see your hand it's not this bad, but, you know, um, when you're in it and you're just sitting in the menu, like, I have a Firewatch one up, just whenever I get up and load to it, that's my main, like, waiting room. If you sit in there for a minute, you'll notice you can see the edge, which I want the Star VR, which doesn't have that, which is so cool. But you only notice that when you're in it. When you're in the game, you don't notice it. You're just immersed and you play. Oh, I would definitely recommend getting this if you have the money. You have Steam. You don't even actually have to have Steam. I'm very mm -hmm. sure Vive has its own thing. Yes, I do recommend it, and I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching.